Catch-22 Nonprofit and the Nonprofit Academy. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing another great video. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about social media for nonprofits, organic social media for nonprofits, how to leverage each channel effectively, and how to grow each channel effectively to enable you to grow to gain donations. Before we drop before we drop the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, here we go. Social media is a beast. Social media is its own beast in its own right, especially organic social media. The one thing I learned from as as running an agency about organic social media is that it really has to come from within the organization and not from an outside source because social has its own voice. Each platform has its own voice, and each platform when it has its own voice has its own capacity to be effective. So there are multiple social channels out there and people often ask us, what is the best channel for us to be on for our nonprofit? Should we be on Instagram? Should we be on LinkedIn? Should we be on Twitter? Should we be on YouTube? Should we be on TikTok? Should we be on Facebook? Is Facebook dying out? Where should we be? So the question is, it's good to diversify. The answer is it's good to diversify. I'm sorry. It's good to diversify. It's good to be on multiple channels because each platform is speaking to a different audience. For example, Facebook. Facebook tends to be a much more much older demographic of people. Facebook constantly keeps changing their algorithms on the news feeds, whether they're focusing on personal pages, groups, posts, reels, etc. So within Facebook, you have multiple means of capturing attention. You have reels, you have groups, you have business pages, you have your personal page. So depending on who you are within the organization, creating a personal page on your on Facebook could be very beneficial for you if you're kind of like an influential person. If you if not, then utilizing Facebook groups, taking taking something relevant to your organization, building a Facebook group around it, that's creating a digital virtual community. What are nonprofits all about? Community building. Facebook's biggest power is groups. And that's something that most of the other platforms do not have is groups. And that's what nonprofits are all about. So creating a Facebook group around your organization, what you do relative, growing it and turning it into a source of traffic and a source of revenue is huge. With, with Instagram, you, it's great for pictures. It's great for videos. It's great for reels. People, younger people, younger generations are on Instagram. They're t looking at Instagram. Instagram, you can also integrate shopping. So if you have a store, if you have a means of donations, you can integrate that with Instagram onto your pictures. TikTok, that's where all the younger generations are. Would I recommend TikTok for some older organizations? Probably not because it's not ideal. LinkedIn, if you're looking to network with other nonprofit professionals, if you're looking to learn and grow and enhance your organization space via LinkedIn, go for it. LinkedIn is a very powerful tool. Twitter, the same. Each social media platform has its own capabilities and capacities. And if you leverage them and harness the power of each one of them, you're going to win at marketing. But you have to diversify because at the end of the day, it's all about content. It's all about creating content that's con that's consistent, that's relevant to what people are looking for and want to be connecting to. And if you're just throwing up stupid videos and, and nonsense that has nothing to do with your organization, then you're not going to win at the content game. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next upload.